All right, welcome back. And in this video, we're going to talk about line protections, offensive line protections. And in this one in particular, we're going to talk about the half man slide and how you can install it into your offense. And we're going to show you up on the diagram um, this introductory to the half man slide. And coach, the half man slide, for me, at least when I was learning it, it was probably one of the easier protections to learn. Uh, because essentially it's a six-man protection where these three are going this way, these three are taken care of this way, and it, it's easier to learn, I guess, if you're newer to the offensive line. Maybe if you're a wide receiver coach or a running back or you coach on the defense, you want to understand how to disrupt offensive line protections. I think this one, for me, at least, was the easiest one to learn. Uh, what are your thoughts? Yeah, I think this is definitely a day one install for most places, no matter what level you're at, whenever you want to get into that six-man kind of drop-back pass world. Uh, I think this is the go-to day one install for for the majority of levels of football. Yeah, exactly. And uh, so what we're going to do here, we're going to draw up against a simple even front, uh, you know, four two five look, which is popular out there, and how we're going to block this. So what we're going to do, we're going to slide the left side here, and we're going to man up the back side. So, uh, Coach, what are we seeing here? We're seeing if we're sliding to the left side here, this tackle is going to take this defensive end. Yeah, so he's setting, and for this slide side, I think of it more as setting for gaps as opposed to men because on this slide side, it's a true zone scheme. So he's setting for that C gap. So most likely, uh, based off of this look, it would be that defensive end that he'll end up taking. Uh, so if that defensive end declares into the C gap, let's say we have a twist game going on and that tackle might exchange outside for the C gap. Wh whoever appears in the C gap is who that tackle is going to be taking, whether it be a blitzing linebacker, or whether it be a gap exchange. He is ultimately responsible for that C gap player. Uh, now the guard will be setting for the B gap. Um, once again, ideally, if there's no movement, no blitz, anything like that, he's going to be taking that three technique or that tackle once everything kind of sorts itself out. But if there was to be some sort of a stunt gap exchange uh, or a blitz or something like that, where someone else besides that three tech was to appear into the B gap, that is who he would eventually end up taking. Uh, now working towards the center, he's the A gap player. Now that we're sliding to an open A gap, that guard knows that he has help going backside, allowing for that three technique to cross his face. So if he feels that three technique cross his face, he's going to pass it off to the center. The center knows that he has to be responsible for, for whatever appears, whether it be an inside linebacker coming on a plug, uh, a, a cross plug with, with that backside, the Mike linebacker plug in from the uh, backside, or you get that will uh, plug in from the front side. Wh whoever appears into that play side or the slide side, a gap is who the center is going to take. Now uh, the man side guard so in this case the right guard is going to be man on the first pass the center in an even front so in this case it's the nose so he's going to be setting man on man wherever he goes uh he owns him as a man uh whether he goes through that a gap wants to go into the b gap um anything like that for the most part he's going to be taking him man on man unless if you were to really loop and uh, two gap over to the slide side now i'm looking for something coming back across because if something's going away something's coming back whether that be the three technique looping across on a nut uh, line game, or they're going to bring that will linebacker uh, and maybe gap exchange them, uh, bring a guy from the backside uh, coming from the slide side to the man side. So kind of letting it sort itself out, but being the primary day one install thinking I'm man on man to that defensive tackle. Uh, same thing for the backside tackle. He'll take second past the center on um, this case with his even front being a defensive end. Um, and once again, wherever he goes, whether that be B gap, C gap, he wants to be an up the field rusher, wants to late exchange inside. He's taking him man to man. Uh, all day long. Now for the running back, he is the sixth man in this protection. And I think there's two ways you can go about teaching the running back position. This you can either keep him as a, as a stay player in the protection. So no matter what he is staying in the protection, this is like more of a max pro type look. Uh, so, but he is initially reading that inside linebacker to the slide side out. So we call it the minus one to the minus two in our structure. Uh, however you want to tag an ID your linebackers. So ideally, uh, in a perfect world, he's looking for that in backside inside linebacker working to the overhang, but also knowing if that corner comes on a blitz, if that safety were to come, anything coming out uh, inside out to the man side, he is responsible for in the protection. Now you can also do it where he is a check protection type player. So let's say the minus one to minus two don't appear. We're all good onto the man side for any sort of a second level threat. Now he can check out into a route, whether that be a swing, a sit, uh, getting out into the flat. Uh, cross-checking into the opposite flat, whatever the case may be, getting him out on, on an option route. 
the there's plenty of other things you can do with the running back in the pass game, but you don't have to lose him in the protection if it's not necessary. And, and, and an added element of teaching can be for him to check the protection first, then get in out into his route uh, second once no threat appears. Yeah, I think that's a great point, too, because that F check releasing, as you say, it protects you in case they do bring any blitzes, right? And I think this is why this slide protection is so common and, and so commonly used because this F is, okay, he checks it. Okay, they're bringing just a four-man rush. Perfect, I can get my route now and cause more disruption for the back half of the field. But if you want to bring a, a, a true dog, a five-man or a blitz, you still have that six-on-six -six opportunity where everyone can sort itself out. So that's why in the beginning of the video when I said it's one of the easier protections to learn, it's because – the center and those guys are working ABC backsides, the man and that running back's going to fill where he needs to fill. Yeah. And, and I think even too, if you can kind of game plan it to where you have a sense of where they're going to come from, if they're a heavy boundary pressure team, if they're a heavy field team, a uh, field pressure team, if they like to bring a certain blitz on third and whatever, if you can game plan it to where you're sliding into that blitz, as long as they're just bringing five, if, if you can slide into it, uh, you can still have the option to check that back out onto the route. So if they were to bring uh, that will linebacker in this case, so to uh, the the backside here to the slide side, if 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 he was to blitz into the slide side, the running back could still check out into the route. He's only looking for that backside pressure. So if you do game plan to where you are sliding into it, you can pick up the pressure and now force them to match uh, every single player underneath out in the route with their uh, with their coverage. Yeah, and just from a defensive side of the ball, we're going to have a future video uh, on how to disrupt these lines slides too. And I think from an offensive perspective, it's good to understand what twist and what stunts can hurt you. So if you haven't yet, make sure you subscribe, put the notification bells on uh, so you can check out those future videos. We put out videos every single week to help you learn more football and understand the concepts of the game. Uh, until next time, I'm Chris Haddad, Ryan Swingle. We'll see you guys next time.